Natalia, I discovered how yeast extract is made. So this brown liquid is essentially what comes from the middle of those yeast cells. The innards. And just how much it divides public opinion. You don't like it, you do. Okay. You think you might grow to like it? I can't see myself ever enjoying this, <laughs> ever. Unusually, that's something the makers have taken full advantage of. Since the 90s, Marmite have been running a very clever advertising campaign. This commercial from 1996 shows extreme examples of people hating it. As a company, to go out there in the world and say, we know that people love our products, but we also know that people hate it. I mean, that is pretty bold, isn't it? But recently, they've taken this campaign to a whole new level. The debate continues into the 21st century in their new ad, where families are now using DNA tests to see if they love or hate it. What does it say? You're a hater. Like this mum-to-be who's just found out the father is a hater. I'm calling a hater's baby! So is this real science, or is it just a really clever marketing campaign? Marmite are working with a DNA sequencing company to explore the love-hate divide. So I've come to meet Andrew Steele. Andrew! Good to meet you. Kate! How are you? I'm very good. Yeah. I'll be honest with you, I mean, this sounds like a brilliant and very expensive project that... I mean, is it just marketing or is there actually some real science going on? Well, it's very much real science. And actually, we um, have two different independent scientific groups looking at the results to make sure this is true. So what is it that actually determines our tastes in life? Well, what it appears, especially in this case, is actually uh, both genetics and environment. Where we grew up, like our family's preferences, the environment in which we live, that plays a role as well. Are you proposing it, it's, it's one gene? Because I'm thinking, you know, 100 years, which is how long yeast extract's been around, that's not quite long enough for genetic evolution, is it? <laughs> no, no. Um, it, it, it doesn't appear so. There's actually a selection of about 14 genes. Uh, that we found that have uh, a genetic basis here on this. So there's no one gene, so actually a selection of genes contribute uh, to this like preference. So if you took a swab from me, would you be able to tell me whether I'm a lover or a hater? Not in such black and white terms. What we've found so far gives us enough to say you're a likely lover or hater based on 14 gene results. I used to hate yeast extract as a kid, but now I love it. So how does that fit with genetics? Right, Angie, what have I got to do? You're going to just rub that inside your cheek just to collect some good saliva cells on there so we can analyse the DNA. Oh, up and down, maybe under the lip. Critics in the press say this test doesn't prove conclusively that there's a set of genes that determine our breakfast spread preferences, as the results are too open to interpretation. But Ma might have invested £3 million in this campaign, so they must be convinced. That's, that's probably OK, yeah. I reckon the crew should get swabbing too. So, uh, Becky, crack that open. There's your little DNA test. Should we swap? I'm going to shoot you, doing yours. That's it. Open wide, Ollie. It's going to take Andrew 10 days to analyse our DNA before he can tell us if he thinks we're genetically destined to like or dislike Marmite. OK, brilliant. So we'll catch up with you in 10 days. Sounds good. I am intrigued. And just a week and a half later, the DNA results for me and the crew are in. So first up, our cameraman. Give your little camera a nod. Tell us, are you a lover? OK, you love it. Ollie, according to the DNA guys, is a lover. Wow. Right, Becky. Are you a lover or a loather? I'm a loather. I hate the stuff. Let's see. Becky. <gasps> According to your DNA, you are a lover. How? I definitely don't like it, so I don't know how I could be a lover. Let's have a look for me, OK? I'm a lover. Spot on. Well, you know, that was a hit rate of two out of three. But I'm still not convinced. I'm not sure I need a DNA test to tell me whether or not I like this stuff. <laughs>